and my family was like super proud and they were like yo y'all gotta vote for my baby and everything so they were just uh, spamming out the text messages or whatever my girl was spamming it out and I managed to win even when you feel low you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go 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 Yo, it's Chris Carthon with Cosplay Alliance. I'm here with Quares Taught Me. Yo, I'm talking legendary builder. I'm talking about, I try to pick a favorite. I do actually have a favorite, but all of them are dope and they all have like your own style. Like, yeah. how did you develop that? Oh man, really like I've been reading comics, playing video games, watching anime since I was like five. And it just really like just stayed with me throughout the years so when i'm designing the cosplay it's kind of like i always like to put my own uh, signature to it like i gotta have my own stamp to it and it's so random because there'll be times when i might like just be out and i'm i'm at the movies or i'm eating out like with friends and i just get these designs in my head pretty much so i'll go draw that out or i'll go write that down and that keeps happening to the point where I'm like, okay, why well, I want to do this certain character, and then I just put the puzzle pieces together. And do you have a particularly favorite cosplay that you've done? It would probably be Robin, just for the uh, simple fact that like I won my first competition in there, and I don't want to put myself down, but I didn't expect that to uh, happen. Like I was just honored that I made it into the finals. So that was a, a huge, huge thing for me. But like we had to do like a, a voting uh, system or whatever. And my family was like super proud. And they were like, yo, y'all got to vote for my baby and everything. So they were just uh, spamming out the text messages or whatever. My girl was spamming it out. And I managed to win. So I just feel like, like there's just so much like that it went into that bill and i also feel like that was the first bill that i had where i could like see myself progressing because like you know how when you look at your older cosplays and it's like damn like i like i i did that because you look at your current stuff and it's so much better and i felt like that was the first cosplay where i was like yo i'm starting to get good at this so. Getting good, you're being recognized, you're you're here guesting at MomoCon. Yeah, man, first time, first you know, time. You're also hosting panels where you're helping other people and teaching other people. How yeah, did that go? It was amazing. Uh, I personally feel like that I have to give back because I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for friends, fans, and things like that. So I feel like doing panels is a way that I can give back and I can educate. Uh, our panels were phenomenal like we did one it was called uh, build it or buy it in short cosplay and it was kind of like just getting people comfortable with cosplaying uh, showing them uh, different like outlooks uh, telling them it doesn't matter what your color is like what your size is like your sexual uh, or orientation or whatever that doesn't matter you cosplay who you want to cosplay because it makes you happy and the other one that we did was uh, Here Comes a New Challenger 3D Printing one, uh, uh, 101. Um, and that one was phenomenal too. Like we had this whole table and it was just laid out with a whole bunch of props and stuff. And we educated hella people on like just how to get into 3D printing, how to do it, uh, what it consisted of, like, like the different types of printers and things like that. Um, and at the end, so I personally thought that they were gonna be like too nervous to like kind of touch the prints and everything, but they did what I wanted them to do, and it made me excited like that they did it. Like they came up, like they rubbed, rubbed the swords, like they rubbed the helmets and everything. Like they had a thousand questions. We were there uh, so long, like that the other panelists started to come in for like the next one. So we kind of had to, you know, take it outside. Like it was, it was just phenomenal, man. So, so happy that you're getting. I'm going to give you your flowers right now. Man. Because, look. Thank you, bro. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. When I say I got a favorite. Yeah. Nightcrawler is like my favorite okay. X-Men character, right? <laughs> I didn't, I legit didn't know, like, yeah. think I could cosplay it. Yeah. Until I saw your cosplay, I was like, yeah. yo. <laughs> wait. Black people can, yo, I can do yeah, this. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> and for real, I saw him like, okay, I'm definitely cosplaying Nightcrawler. And yeah. when I saw you. 
that legit gave me motivation to cosplay. So I appreciate you, man. Oh, definitely, man. Man, thank you. Like, I'm just happy that I was able to, like, you know, be that push. Because I can open the door for you, but you walk through it. Exactly. And uh, can you tell everybody where they can find you at next? Oh, yeah, definitely. Well, we got the uh, sign here, but I'm going to still tell you. Uh, on my Instagram, it is Aquarius Taught Me. Uh, TikTok is at Aquarius Taught Me. Uh, Facebook.com slash Aquarius Taught Me Cosplay. Uh, and my Twitter is at him and his hair. And if you want to catch him, I think you're going to Ranger Con? Yeah, I, I will be at uh, Ranger Stop Con. We're doing the uh, 3D printing panel again. That'll be on uh, the 17th at 4.15, so don't miss that. Uh, and after Ranger Stop, I'll be at uh, Dream Con in July. And I'll be competing this year. Uh, Dragon Con, they reached out to me, so they want me to compete. At uh, this year's Dragon Con, I'll be doing Bakugo from My Hero. Hey. <laughs> I might have to bring Deku back out then. Come on with hey, it. Hey, congratulations on all success, man. Thank you so yes. much, bro. Appreciate Thank you, you so bro. Much.